welcome to Game Journal Northwest. Today we have recaps of the boys and girls tournament, basketball tournament, the swim and dive meet, and full court press. All last week, the Lady Ravens basketball team competed in the DeSoto Invitational Tournament. Angie Torres has a recap. <laughs> The Olathe Northwest Lady Raven basketball team played in their first tournament this season. On December 6th, the Lady Ravens played Barstow, annihilating them by a score of 70-26. The Lady Ravens played on December 8th against Truman High School. The Patriots got on board first, leading 11-0 with 5 minutes and 45 seconds left in the first quarter. The Ravens got on board with Maddie Heisey making a pair of free throws, making the score 13-2. The Ravens bounced back and came with three at halftime, making the score 26 to 23. The Lady Ravens played a great game, though they fell to Truman 56 to 43. On Saturday, December 10th, ONW took on Winnetonka in the third place game. They won and took third place overall in the tournament. Sophomore Sarah Beth Gildner was named to the all tourney team. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Angie Torres and Catherine Farewell. Awesome job, ladies. Also last week, the boys' basketball team traveled to the Paola for the Panther Invitational. Zach Clay has a recap. Last week, the Raven boys' basketball team competed in the Panther Invitational. Their first matchup was against Kansas City East. The Ravens dominated the entire game and came out with a 62-27 win. The Ravens' next game was against Eudora High. While Eudora has one of the best players in the nation, the Ravens were able to contain him and get the 51-39 victory. Moving on to the championship, the Ravens took on Harmon. Harmon kept the game close in the first half, but the Ravens broke away and came away with the hardware. Congratulations to the team on having a strong start to the season. The Ravens will take on Raytown High in their next game on Saturday. And congrats on first place, boys. The boys' swim and dive team competed in the Olathe, in the Olathe Swim and Dive Invitational last Friday. Cooper Kate has the details. Last Friday, the boys' swim and dive meet took place at California Trail as the team looked to improve their times for state. Um... No event when it comes to a race is super easy, but when it comes to level of difficulty, I would say the 200 IM is on top, and then there's a 100 butterfly underneath of that, but they are both very um, intriguing races in and of themselves, and they're very uh, fun challenges to overcome. Nick Schmidt placed 7th out of 30 in the 100 backstroke and the 200 free relay. It's difficult. Yeah, most people think swimming is just like, just like average day at the pool, but I like to think it's a lot more than that. It's much more difficult and like rigorous of a workout. This has been Cooper Kate. Now back to the desk. Now for full court press, where our sports reporter Bryce Lundgren walks the 94 feet of the basketball court, interviewing Jack Cashman. Let's take it over to Bryce. I'm Bryce Longren on Full Court Press. This is Jack Cashman, a senior here at Northwest. He's a varsity basketball and varsity soccer player. So, Jack, what was your first car, man? Uh, first car was a silver 02 uh, Volvo S80. You still have it? I do. I drive it to, I drive it right now, and I hope I'll be able to drive it for the rest of my life. All right, so if you were stranded on an island with anyone in the school and you had to pick one person and that's it, who would it be? You know, it's a tough question, but I have to go with Mr. Morgan. I mean, he's a great math teacher. He knows his stuff. I feel like his mathematic ability would really help us out in that situation. All right. Um, out of all the shows on Netflix, you got to have a favorite or one you just watch over and over again. You know, How I Met Your Mother is a great show. I've watched it multiple times, and it just really gets me. Biggest role model in your life from day one, Jack? Jeremy Lin. I've looked at the Jeremy Lin my entire childhood, really admire what he's become and how he's gotten there. Favorite movie? The Departed. Not Billy Madison? Uh, Billy Madison's up there, but Departed's more serious. It's pretty good. All right. Uh, senior quote, what do you got? Straight to the goo. That's Jack Cashman, and that's Full Court Press.